welcome to Colorado Campgrounds What You Need to Know. This YouTube channel provides videos of Colorado State Parks, Colorado's four national parks, and other public and private Colorado campgrounds. Colorado is blessed with more than 13,000 campsites from the Eastern Plains to the Rocky Mountains and to the Western Slope. This video focuses on 11 Mile State Park located in Colorado's famous South Park. South Park is a grassy flat valley ringed by the Rocky Mountains and was a favorite hunting ground for the Ute and Southern Arapaho Indians. It was called a park because of the abundance of wild game. Today, South Park is also known for the animated TV series co-created by Trey Parker, who grew up in the area. 11 Mile State Park is in the southeast section of South Park. The lake was created in 1932 by damming the South Platte River just before the river descended into the 11 Mile Canyon. 11 Mile State Park is 38 miles west of Colorado Springs on Highway 24. Just after the small town of Lake George, turn left onto County Road 90. Drive about six miles to County Road 92 and turn south for several miles, which take you to the 11 miles east entrance. The west entrance to 11 Mile State Park is also accessed by U.S. Highway 24. Turn south onto County Road 418. When you come to the junction of County Road 92, turn east to the west entrance. As you can see, the west entrance cuts through the grassy plains of South Park. During my drive into the west entrance, I also came across some free-range donkeys. Greetings fellow campers, Camping Steve coming to you from 11 Mile State Park located just west of Lake George, Colorado off Highway 24. 11 Mile State Park is one of the more favorite parks in Colorado as it has a 3400 acre lake that enjoys a lot of fishing and even sporting events, competitions I should say. They also have a marina here that will rent you pontoon boats and other watercraft. Uh, it has nine campgrounds here with over 300 campsites. Most of the developed campsites are on the north side of the lake. The undeveloped are on the south side. But you're going to find a campsite here at 11 Mile State Park and you're going to enjoy it. We sure did. We caught a full moon. We caught some gorgeous weather as you can see. A little windy in the afternoons, but you can manage that. This is Camping Steve signing off. We'll see you at a campground somewhere in Colorado. With over 7,000 acres, a five and a half mile long reservoir, and nine campgrounds totaling 312 campsites, 11 Mile State Park is one of Colorado's largest and most visited state parks. Most of the amenities are located on the north side of the reservoir, including the visitor center, marina, primary boat ramps, and an amphitheater. A second, smaller boat ramp is located at the southeast corner of the lake. This boat ramp is accessed from County Road 59. 
While you launch your boat from either boat ramp, 11 Mile State Park does allow boats to be moored at campground locations around the lake. I mentioned earlier that 11 Mile has nine campgrounds. Let's take a quick spin around the lake to familiarize you with the locations of those campgrounds. Near the visitor center is the Rocky Ridge Campground. Surrounding the marina and boat ramps is the North Shore Campground. Just west of the North Shore Campground is Stoll Mountain. On the south side of the lake and at the very west corner of the reservoir is the Cross Creek Campground. To access the Cross Creek Campground, you travel west on County Road 92 and turn left onto County Road 59. County Road 59 is a gravel road which travels southeast around the south side of the lake and accesses the other campgrounds. Unfortunately, you will be challenged by the trailer-unfriendly washboard ridges of the gravel road. Next on the lake south side is the Lazy Boy Campground. The Lazy Boy and the Rocking Chair Campgrounds share the same access road and are close to each other on the lake. Further east on County Road 59 is the Halbert Point Campground. The last campground on the south side of the lake is Witcher's Cove. This area is more protected by the wind, so it is favored by paddle boarders. 11 Miles Hike To Campground, the Backcountry Campground, is located on the north side of the lake. 11 Mile has three fishing access areas as well two on the south side and one on the north side near the backcountry campground. Now let's view the videos of each campground beginning with the Rocky Ridge. Rocky Ridge is one of the larger campgrounds within 11 Mile State Park. It has five loops, three with electric hookups, and a total of 144 campsites. The loops are away from the lake set along the Rocky Ridge, but have some great views. Let's take a drive-through look at the Loop A at Rocky Ridge. Loop A has eight campsites with electric hookups and is closest to the visitor center. Following is the video of Loop B. The 16 campsites in Loop B have electric hookups and are located in a small swale between two ridges.
Loop C at 11 Mile State Park is comprised of two loops with a total of 45 campsites, none of which have electric hookups.
Loop D has 25 campsites with electric hookups. The final loop at Rocky Ridge, Loop E, has 44 campsites, four of them being hike to tent campsites. None of the Loop E campsites have electric hookups.
The next campground on the north side is the North Shore Campground, which is closest to the marina and the north boat ramps. The North Shore Campground has five loops with a total of 81 campsites. Loops A and B are close to the marina and boat ramps. Loops C, D, and E are along the lake. None of the campsites in North Shore have electric hookups. Loop A of North Shore has 17 campsites located across from the marina. Loop B of North Shore has 21 campsites adjacent to Loop A and is also across from the marina. C of North Shore has 10 campsites west of the marina.
Here is the video of the Loop D, which has 20 campsites. The last loop in North Shore is Loop E, which is some distance from the marina. Loop E has 10 campsites with no electricity. Stowe Mountain Campground is several miles west of the marina, just off County Road 92. Stowe Mountain has two loops with a total of 25 campsites. None of the campsites have electric. The east loop at Stowe Mountain has 10 campsites. Following is the video.
Stoll Mountain's West Loop has 15 campsites. As I mentioned earlier, Cross Creek is on the south side of the lake off County Road 59. While the map shows that Cross Creek has two loops and 15 campsites, only one loop has active campsites. The west loop has seven campsites, none with electricity. The east loop has been abandoned. Here's the video of the west loop. The Lazy Boy Campground on the south side of the lake has a long access road off of County Road 59. The Lazy Boy Campground has two loops with a total of 14 campsites, none with electricity. The East Loop has seven campsites. Here's the video for those sites. The West Loop at Lazy Boy has seven campsites.
The Rocking Chair Campground shares the same access road with a Lazy Boy Campground on the south side of the lake. Rocking Chair has two loops with a total of 13 campsites, none with electricity. The east loop of Rocking Chair has four campsites. East loop of rocking chair has four campsites. Continuing east on Highway 59 for several miles, you will find the Halbert Point campground entrance on your left. Halbert Point has 10 campsites, none with electricity. The last campground off County Road 59 on the southeast side of the lake is Witcher's Cove. The Witcher's Cove campsites, all non-electric, are strung along the lake in three clusters, the east cluster, the central cluster, and the west cluster. The east cluster has eight campsites.
The central cluster has nine campsites. The west cluster of Witcher's Cove has five campsites. The last campground at 11 Mile State Park is the Back Country Campground, located on the north side of the lake, just east of the visitor center. The Back Country Campground is set up for tents and requires campers to hike to their campsites. The campground has 21 sites with three vault toilets and a centralized food locker area. The primary access to the Back Country camping sites is around the north side of the Corral Cove. The hike is less than a mile on a well-marked path. Once you get around the cove, you hike up steps to enter the camping area. The campsites are well-spaced and sometimes can be difficult to find. Some of the campsites are along the water. If you have a boat, you can access the backcountry peninsula by water, which can save you the hike around the lake. That concludes our review of the campgrounds at 11 Mile State Park. Obviously, the main attraction to 11 Mile is the 5.5 Mile Lake and all things fishing. At the State Park Center is its boat ramp which has three paved launches. And as it is with all state parks in Colorado, a boat inspection is also required at 11 Mile State Park. If you forgot some of your fishing gear, the Marina Retail Shop offers bait and tackle and also provides a small grocery store. You can also rent pontoons, boats, kayaks, and canoes there. 11 Mile has a visitor center with showers and a laundry, an amphitheater, a children's playground, and a dump station. 11 Mile State Park is a beautiful place to visit and camp, especially if you like to fish. It can be windy and there's not much shade in any of the campgrounds. The park has no full hookups. Campsites with electric hookups are limited. The flush toilets, pay showers, and laundry facilities are available from May 1st to Labor Day. Year-round camping is also available. Peggy and I enjoyed our stay at 11 Mile. The nighttime sky is spectacular as are the sunsets. We hope you enjoyed this video of 11 Mile State Park. We would appreciate it if you would, number one, like this video, subscribe to our channel, view our other videos, 
and tell others about our channel. Our channel is packed with information about Colorado campgrounds. This is Camping Steve signing off. We'll see you at a campground somewhere in Colorado.